So today we're going to do a very quick tutorial on how to share a Dropbox link with an image. Assuming that you already have your created design built up in Watchmaker, you're going to need the preview image. So the easiest way to do that is to just take a screenshot, which generally involves the power, power and volume down button being pressed simultaneously. So we'll do that here. Now we have our screenshot. Now what that did is it saved the whole screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly edit that photo. We're going to crop it to a square just so it looks a little bit cleaner. We'll crop it with a one to one constraint. Frame our photo or frame our frame our watch and then perform the crop, save the photo and there we go. Now we'll go back to Watchmaker and what we'll need to do is we're going to export the file. Now if you've never done this before and you've never hit the export button you're going to see this little pop-up. Never say yes to this pop-up. It doesn't actually share anything other than a link to the Play Store Watchmaker app. So it's not actually sharing your file at all. It's just an ad for Watchmaker. So you're going to say no thanks. And now what that has done is that it has shared that to the internal storage of your device. So the next step for this tutorial is we're going to open up Dropbox. And then you will navigate to the folder where you'd like to share your file. I share mine in a Watchmaker Shared. For this tutorial I'm going to share that into a temp folder and then I'm going to say add upload a file and here you'll browse to the internal storage so we'll say internal storage beautiful watches and then the export folder and you'll see our watch is right there so we'll click on the watch file and right now it's saying the file already is, exists because I've put the watch here already but I'll just click replace and you'll see it will then upload the file. Generally it would be at the very top, but since I'm just replacing the file, it's, it's right here. Now it's at the top of the screen. So what we're going to do, still on the Dropbox app, we're going to click the arrow down button and then share the file. Except for we don't want to share when it, when it pops up all your little options, don't share it directly to Google+. Just copy the link. Okay, so now that link is copied in your phone's clipboard. And we're going to need to open Google+, because now we have both the link and the link and the photo that we're going to share. So then you would go towards wherever you want to share it, the community, the collection, directly to your page. It really doesn't matter. That's all up to you. For this tutorial, we're going to share it to my Android Wear collection. We're going to click the post button. And then if it didn't by default open up the fact that you were going to want a photo, like let's assume it looks like this, you would click the lower left button. And then you'll see your most recent photos here. So we will push the photo and then you can say whatever you want. We'll say it's a test post for Dropbox links with photo. And then we will add the link to the file. We'll use asterisk to bold that text and then long press and you'll see the paste option shows and then that is it you click post wait a few moments for it to post it and as you can see here we now have the picture with a link to the file all shared directly from the device all in one clean post and that's it. There's really nothing else to it. We're going to delete this post here since it's just a test post, but it does work just fine. There we go. Now it's actually on. And that's it. That's how you share it.
Thanks for listening.